On behalf of Gradelink, I want to help you keep your school running smoothly. I invite you to follow along with me as I show you how to turn your classroom into a remote environment where the learning never stops. The topics covered in this video are providing remote instruction, methods of distributing assignments, methods of collecting student work. Two options for providing instruction are pre-recorded videos and live video conferencing. You may want to do a hybrid of both. You could use pre-recorded videos for lessons and then use the live video conferencing for conducting group discussions or doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. Both live and pre-recorded videos have great benefits and can be instituted for free. Let's take a look at how to implement pre-recorded video lessons. The first thing you will need is video recording software. If you don't already have one, we recommend Vidyard. Let's install Vidyard. Sign up at Vidyard and install the Chrome extension. To create a video, click the icon in the top right corner. You can record yourself teaching on a whiteboard or record your screen with or without yourself in the corner. Press stop to end the video and give it a name so you can find it later. The link to the video can be provided to students in a number of ways. You can use SmartSend to email your class a link to the latest video. Students and parents don't need to log into GradeLink to view their email. You can use teacher pages to post the latest video to your class webpage. Students can see what teachers have written when they log into their GradeLink account. You can include a link in the description of a related assignment. Students and parents can view your video by clicking the name of the assignment and viewing the description. Live video conferencing is a great way to hold classroom discussions. If you don't already have software, we recommend Zoom. Here are a few tips for holding video conferences. Be sure you know your personal meeting ID. Some systems have a unique URL for each meeting, which means you will need to send a new link every time you have a meeting. Zoom allows you to use the same URL for each meeting you host, so you don't have to send out a new link each time you have a meeting. Know where the mute button is. Classroom management is a lot easier in some respects because you can simply mute an individual or all students. Sharing your screen can be useful, and it's best to close all the tabs that you don't plan to share before the meeting starts to avoid accidentally sharing them. If you want to share a link to the recording at the end of your conference call, Zoom can be used, but you will need to upgrade your plan. There are a few ways to deliver worksheets and assignments to students. Students and parents can pick up a weekly packet at the school office. When they pick up the new packet, they can also drop off the completed work. Teachers can upload worksheets to assignments in GradeLink and allow students or parents to print the worksheets from home. Teachers can email worksheets to students. The Communicate tab in GradeLink makes it easy to email everyone in your whole class or just a few selected students. Upload worksheets to Google Drive or OneDrive and allow students or parents to access them from home. There are a few ways to collect student work. Students and parents can drop off the completed work at the school. Students and parents can take a photo of the completed work and email it as an attachment to their teacher. Students and parents can upload completed work to Google Drive or OneDrive. Remember, good communication is the key to life, work, and relationships.